Hi everybody, welcome to the World of Solutions Theater right here at Cisco Live, and I'm pleased to welcome to the studio Mike Homeland and Rick Twaniak uh, from Plantronics and Cisco. So gentlemen, welcome. Thanks, Doug. Great to be here. So why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about how you're educating the community about your tools and solutions uh, that complement uh, the Cisco uh, collaboration ecosystem. The purpose of the Plantronics developer community is to try and help people understand how they can make their intelligent endpoints work better with software. Oh. This is the public face of our platform initiative. It's a commercial product that's available to buy today. What we're trying to do is help everyone understand how they can embed contextual information into their applications and workflows to make their applications smarter, more intuitive, and work better for the user. What we've done is we've exposed a variety of events and capabilities through APIs so that users are able to better understand what the agents and users are doing as well as better understand how they're interacting with technology in their office or collaboration environment as well. We can expose a variety of events to detect what device a user's connected to, to understand how close or far they might be from their technology, as well as to provide some basic information about who that user is to help enable identity. And the intent is this week that we're going to be reaching out and talking with a lot of different developers from Cisco and their broader community to help them understand how they can benefit from Plantronic solution in their enterprise workflows. What I'm really excited about is this partnership with uh, Plantronics. Because if you take the combination of the Plantronics APIs uh, in the Cisco Jabber APIs, we have a much richer experience for developers. And what Plantronics does uh, is, is it provides us that connection to the last three feet mm. between the end user, okay, and uh, their device, whether it be a workstation or a mobile device. Plantronics gives us some really good user experience and things like uh, proximity. So we can add security to collaboration. Um, as an example, you know, shutting off the device uh, if proximity moves away for added security. Sure. Um, uh, Jabber's all about presence and location. Uh, however, you know, you take a headset like this and you add their APIs together, it, it brings new meaning to presence and location. If they've got the headset on, or if it's close to them, it gives us more richer information about proximity and location. Uh, and when you take the APIs working together, it's a much cooler experience, I think, for developers when they're writing apps uh, uh, and things. Mike, uh, what kind of integrations uh, have you worked on with Cisco in their DevNet community to date? So, exposing call control for Jabber, the ability to answer and terminate calls remotely without having to interact with your technology, has literally helped thousands of users of Cisco Jabber. That solution's been in market for some time now, and we're really pleased with the traction we're getting. More recently, we've also exposed an integration we did with Cisco Finesse, the contact center platform, mm. and really had the opportunity to show how contacts can radically change the contact center. So by embedding sensors in our devices, we can log in agents simply by placing the headset on their head or removing their headset. Because our devices are enumerated, we can actually log people into the Cisco Finesse database. We can identify specific unis, users and make them available for callers who are best aligned with their specific skill sets. So the final item I'd like to touch on as well is something we're showcasing this week here at Cisco Live. It's an integration we did with the Cisco DX650. It's a very exciting multimedia enterprise collaboration platform. And we not only embedded some security capabilities based on proximity events, but we're also demonstrating the ability to transfer a session from your mobile device directly to the Cisco DX650 seamlessly as you walk into your office. Oh, nice, yeah. Terrific. Well, is there anything else uh, you'd like to add, Rick, uh, tonight? Yeah, I think in the end, developers really don't necessarily care about our business units or maybe our separate companies, right? right? If they can take a, a partnership of our APIs together and, and write some cool, innovative apps that uh, affect business processes and bring value, that's all the developers care about. And I'm really excited about the partnership that we have together. Um, this is the first time we've done it. Plantronics is in the DevNet zone. They're one of our, our first partners that we've done in this flagship right. kind of launch at Cisco. And we're, we're excited about the, pro, uh, the prospects of working together for our developers. Well, gentlemen, thanks very much for joining me here today. Thanks, And Mike. of course, if you want to find out more about Plantronics and Cisco and what they've got in development, come on down and visit us at the World of Solutions right here at Cisco Live.